tribe of the Mormons put on their fig leaf apron in the temple. Mormonism teaches God came from another planet. It's not true. God is not an exalted man from another world. Mormonism says God's from another planet. That is so unbiblical. That makes him an alien. You bow down to an alien God. Why does the Mormon church require 10% of your income before you're worthy to go into the temple? Why does your God require money before you're made worthy to go yeah. into the temple? Yeah, he didn't create money, man did. <laughs> the church is a business. Did you know that? It's a franchise. The LDS assets, it's a huge corporation bringing in millions and millions a day in its businesses. And it charges you, you have to pay 10% of your income in order to go into the church, in order to go into the temple, to have the presence of God. Why do you have to pay money to go in there? Why is there a golden image on top of your temple? The Bible says do not make an image of the things in heaven or earth that you have bowed down to them. You bow down underneath the temple you bow down underneath the golden image. You're believing in a false God and a false gospel. The judgment of God is upon you. Eternal damnation waits if you continue and you die in Mormonism. I don't hate Mormons, but I believe the word of God and I compare everything to God's holy word. And so should you. God is not an exalted man for another planet as Mormonism teaches. God says in the Bible, he doesn't even know of any other gods. There are no gods formed after him. But in Mormonism, there's many gods. There's a god his mother. Jesus is another god. Right. Did you know that in the Bible, 1 Kings 8, 60, it says, Jehovah is Elohim. Jehovah is simply the name of God, the name of Elohim. Joseph Smith invented Mormonism while he was involved in the occult, in necromancy, which is contacting the dead, in spiritism. I'm not making it up. The Mormon church has doctored your own history. The Mormon church has even changed the Book of Mormon over 4,000 places.